Hi, in this video, we're going to be talking about ways to stand out in a job interview and get the job that you want. My name is Adora. Before we get right into the things, yeah, I just want to tell you three things that I believe that everyone should know when they're interviewing because this would actually help you not take a lot of things too seriously, right? So the first thing is that people are chosen in relative, like relative to other candidates. So if you are interviewing and you get a rejection or something, it doesn't mean that you are a terrible developer, terrible designer, terrible engineering manager or product manager or anything like that. What this means is that there was probably someone there with more years of experience. For example, if it was for a Python role and you know Go, but somehow you are programming language agnostic, so you decided to try anyway, both of you might have been great in the final stage, but they chose the person that they know has four years python experience like it could be different things so the point is you are typically judged relative to other candidates so it's not only about you and your competences so don't feel like oh my gosh they rejected me there's something wrong with me i suck at this programming thing that, that's not the case if i'm being honest the second thing i want to say is that you know in terms of like false positives false negatives true positives true negatives you know stuff like that when it comes to accuracy generally right companies actually care more <laughs> and this thing is crazy they don't care about losing out on good talents they care more about not hiring bad talent because the truth is if there's like oh there's a lot of good talent in the world and no problem the good talent we can always get them at some other points you know when we're hiring again but because hiring is expensive the worst thing we want to do to ourselves right now is hire by bad talent that we're going to have to lay off and then now go through this whole interviewing process again because for a lot of companies interviewing is expensive so if they don't hire you it's not because you are bad sometimes they would miss out on good talent and they're fine with that the most important thing for them is that they don't mistakenly go hire rubbish you know, you know if that makes sense the final thing i want to say is that you should approach interviewing with an abundance mindset because think about it like this there'll be other places to interview and let's say you tried interviewing at nvidia or microsoft or google and you you didn't get it there'll be other chances to interview at these companies as well so don't beat yourself up that oh i didn't get it i'm not good enough i'm a terrible engineer or a terrible whatever i promise you 1000 percent that that is not the case okay so now that we've talked about this i'm going to give you strategies for how you can get the job that you want i've broken them down into three phases so the first phase is before the interview the second one is during the interview while you are on the call with the interviewer or you know in the office with the interviewer if it's a physical interview and the final one is after so i'm going to be talking about these three phases so come with me and listen so don't ask me for dating advice right <laughs> but i think interviews are like dating you try different things until you figure out the one that works the one that wants you and the one that you like <laughs> The first thing you should do before interviewing is that you should have a list of companies that you want to get into and you should create strategies for how you want to attract that company, how you want to get them to notice you. Because the truth is you might get lucky if you submit CV in, you know, an application pool and your CV might get picked, but a lot of times many people don't get lucky, right? And we're talking about strategies that work. So you want to write a list of companies that you want to attract. If you want to learn more about attracting companies, let me know in the comment section below and I will make a video about that because I don't want to start listing those strategies here. It's, it's going to be very long. Um, so yeah, that's the first thing I would say that you should definitely do. The next thing I would say that you should do before the interview is that once you get the call that, okay, we're going to interview you, you know when the interview is happening and things like that, you want to research the company and understand the job requirements. I can't stress this enough. You don't want to go into an interview 
not knowing anything about the job or anything about you know the requirements or the interviews and things like that so you want to research the company well understand the role understand the company what their values are what the role is about you know if you can even find different problems that they're having that that role is supposed to help them solve you know just arm yourself with information because when you go for that interview i promise you you are definitely definitely going to need it the next thing i would want to say is that you should get ready technically you know by like reading code writing code learning data structures systems design cracking the coding interview you know go read the book um all the different things that you definitely do uh go go do them right that's for like engineers obviously because that's the one i can speak about if you are a pm or you know if you are in any other kind of field whatever way you people typically also get ready for the technical part of your interviews you also want to get ready in that way right and once you are done with all of those things and these are things that could take months sometimes so you might start with getting ready or rather having a list of you know the companies then while you have your list you are getting ready technically and this might be like something that happens in six months or nine months and then you know a couple of weeks before your interview days when you know you start research about the companies because now you are sure of the companies that you're actually going to be interviewing with so you start from there and now this takes us to things you should do during the interview the first thing you should do during the interview is that you should get to know the interviewer ask them questions about themselves during that chit chat stage of the interview use it ask them questions about themselves get to know them and be taking in information be listening attentively because you want to pick out some points for example in the context of you know software engineering technologies that this interviewer is interested in technologies that they like working with things they've done in the past things they've built in the past even before they got into that current company you know in the tell me about yourself section usually the interviewer tells you about themselves first before they ask you to tell them about yourself and use this information to your advantage Be find things that you and that interviewer have in common and capitalize on them most times they would ask you follow-up questions you want to steer the interviewer in the direction that you want them to go for example let's say there's like a bunch of stuff around cloud native development containerization kubernetes docker infrastructure as code monitoring pager duty you know all of these things right and the interviewer cares so much about infrastructure as code for example instead of now trying to talk about yourself touch on every single thing you know in the context of devops and you know infrastructure automation and cloud native development and things like that you might just talk about the infrastructure as code bits because you notice that that's one thing that the interviewer liked when they were talking about themselves and the kinds of things that they've been working on in the past and you sort of like you know touch about it and talk about how you are passionate about it and you know things like that it helps you know build some kind of relationship because that's one thing you want to do at the beginning of the interview is like get to know your interviewer build a relationship with the person it goes a long way you leave an impression on that person when you do that the next thing i want to say see is that be yourself right because i promise you if you are not trying to be yourself and if you are trying to be fake anybody that pays attention will notice it and if they notice it that's already a thumbs down from them you know in your case so just be yourself like if it's supposed to fit your persona if the role if the job is supposed to come to you and it's supposed to fit your persona you will get it if not the game is the game i promise you there'll be other ones and like i said abundance mindsets you have a lot of other companies on your list anyway so yeah i'll definitely say that when you are coding demonstrate that you are flexible as well you know interviews are typically peer programming sessions right so if you are doing something wrong and the interviewer is trying to steer you in the right direction don't just shove it off because you don't want to follow the interviewer's way or you feel like you've already crammed something that you read from somewhere right actually listen to them and listen to their hints 
right be flexible don't be afraid to ask clarifying questions that you don't understand some things for them to clarify it because the truth here is that they're not only testing your ability to code they are also testing your ability to collaborate in code and you want to make sure that you showcase that as much as possible you should also emphasize your eagerness to learn and adopt new technologies and these are things that you can emphasize in during the chit chat part of the technical interviews and the culture fit interview emphasize the fact that you know you like to learn you have a growth mindset you want you like a challenge you want to pick on new technologies and things like that these are things that people typically love to see and if you're selling yourself and presenting yourself you know in that way it definitely can help you stand out now let's talk about when you have to discuss your past achievements things you've done in the past add quantifiable metrics to it add numbers right hey i worked on skill tests in my old team and our latency when we hit a certain threshold was xyz milliseconds and i proposed a solution that reduced it from 100 milliseconds to 8 milliseconds and that made us have gains in our this you know like put numbers there right you want to make sure that you add numbers for example maybe you came in and you saw a bug that no one has been able to fix for a very long time and you were able to fix it and this impacted like 10 different teams in your organization and it made them more productive and it got you your next promotion all these kinds of things like when you're talking talk with confidence about the things that you've worked on and sort of like add numbers as well if there are numbers to add there are some times that there won't be numbers and to be honest that's okay but if you have those numbers use them to your advantage and speak of them you worked on scaling efforts to make sure that your systems were resilient enough to handle 10 million users or 10 million customers you people went from having 1 million customers during your private preview to now being globally available and you are getting x million number of requests daily you know those things like say it with your full chest don't be afraid you know so when you are talking about those achievements speak them like speak up and say them and like i said this also goes back to what i was saying before when you now want to talk about those achievements make sure you are talking about the parts of the achievements that you can comfortably talk about so that you steer the interviewer in the direction you want the interviewer to go and that path where you are staring the interviewer to the questions they are asking you you are answering based on what you know because you are highlighting you know the things that you did that you can answer more than the other stuff that you don't really know anything about because you don't want to now start saying um i didn't do this part somebody else did it but maybe because that's the part that sounds very fancy you now mistakenly said it if you don't know it leave it out right focus on the one you know focus on the one you did and highlight it so much during that interview the final thing i want to say is you should be organizing your problem solving what this means is that once you are giving a problem don't just dive straight into a solution have an approach for that solution communicate it with your interviewer break down bigger problems into smaller problems and sort of go from there like i said organized problem solving is not just that you're solving the problem and you're all over the place you communicate how you want to solve the problem and you know from there you can go and like you know start solving the problem and that way you are carrying your interviewer along because like i said it's not only about writing clean code a lot of times people that even get the job don't necessarily finish all the coding challenges of course maybe you should finish a few but sometimes they don't get to finish all the coding challenges but one thing is clear you can see that the person is a good collaborator and is good technically because there are some problems that they will give you that will be so big that you obviously can't finish in the space of one hour but you want to make sure that you are highlighting your technical abilities that you are a good problem solver and you also want to show that you are very good when it comes to collaboration as well now that i have talked about everything that you should do during the interview i mean like at this point you know if you go through all these things that i've said you will do the interview you would write the code you will do all the culture fit interviews and you will be done once you are done it's now time to do what you should be doing after the interview like i said this video is about getting your dream job getting the job that you want 
Once you're done with the interview, focus on yourself, focus on your life, sit back and relax and wait for them to get back to you. One of two things will happen. It's either you get an offer or you get a rejection and it can't be worse than that, okay? And I want you to know that whatever the outcome is, it is not the end of the world. If you get an offer, congratulations to you. You can go ahead and do your salary negotiations. If you want to see a video on negotiating your salary, let me know and I will put that you know in the pipeline for videos that i want to create um like i said if you get the offer congratulations go ahead and negotiate your salary get the offer that you want and you know get into the team and make impact if you don't get the offer it's not the end of the world you can always reapply to that company and you can also apply to other companies as well and at some point, one of them will call you back and you would get the role. If you don't get the offer, it really isn't the end of the world and you can always try again, to be honest. I know that it's currently not the easiest time to be switching jobs or trying to get a new job or changing a job or something. I totally understand. But I wish you luck in your job search. I wish you luck as you try to find the next role that fits. And if there's anything you need that I can help you with, please reach out to me on social media and I will be happy to help. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. If you liked it, please make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to me, please make sure that you subscribe and share this video. Liking this video and subscribing helps more people to view this video and it helps me to make more videos like this for you. I wish you luck in your next interview. Thank you so much and I will see you in another video. Bye.